So with the announcement of every new Pokemon card set that is incredibly exciting, people give in to FOMO, hype goes through the roof, and people start to pay ridiculous amounts of money for pre-orders on Pokemon cards they're not really guaranteed to get. What's going on everybody? Welcome back. You're watching the channel Dr. Applesauce 2. My name is Will. It's another beautiful day here in Texas. I hope you guys know that I love you, God loves you, that there is an awesome plan for your life. Just last week, really not even a week ago, a few days ago, V-Star Universe was announced as well as Crown Zenith, which will be the English equivalent of V-Star Universe, to kind of wrap up the Sword and Shield era. Now, V-Star Universe is, honestly, it looks like it's going to be a really good and really fun set. And you, you, you might take that as to say that I'm, I'm trying to hype it up. No, I'm not trying to hype it up. I'm just expressing my interest in it. V-Star Universe is going to be the next high class set. Okay. So think, think shiny star V, think VMAX Climax, think V-Star Universe. Okay. There's going to be crazy cool, good cards in this set. And understandably people are excited about it. And, but I think where a lot of creators and a lot of influencers and a lot of people that, that make videos to inform fall short is they'll inform and they'll say this looks exciting this looks fun this looks really really cool and then they don't follow up and they don't they don't attempt to guide the people that follow them to say hey here's kind of how you should react here here's what you should hopefully expect to pay maybe here's where you can order and so that's what i want to do today i want to guide you guys through and help you all to not overpay because there's some insane things going on with v-star universe insane prices not even a week after the announcement now when v-star universe comes out in japan uh msrp uh, or basically regular price it, it should be somewhere around 50 usd i'm not perfect on that math okay but it's always somewhere around like 50 dollars usd depending on the conversion rate 50 dollars usd for a booster box you should always caution to be patient. And I'm gonna to explain to you some reasons why you should be patient. I'm gonna to explain to you some situations that you should look at in the past. And I'm gonna give you some information and point you to some resources where maybe you can figure out how to order this stuff on your own. Real quick guys, if you enjoy the video, smash that like button, comment down below and subscribe. If you do all those things for me, it really helps the channel grow and it really helps the channel in the best way possible. Now, the first thing that I wanna look at is, okay, we, we know that MSRP on, on Japanese booster boxes should be around 50 bucks. I'm keeping things generic and simple, right? Around $50. Well, let's look at some screenshots that I pulled from eBay just today. Let's check these out. Right here, we see uh, we see singles. We see a set of the V Star uh, Mewtwo and V Star Charizard pre-ordered, sold for just the singles, one hundred and sixty-five dollars. One hundred and sixty-five dollars. Somebody bought a booster box uh, of V Star uh, V Star Universe for ninety-four eighty. Somebody bought the Hisuian Samurai V Star for fifty-nine ninety-nine. Check this out over here. 10 packs, not a box for $70. You know what that 10 packs is going to be? That's going to be 10 packs that are weighed and they're going to be the lightest packs that probably don't have the biggest hits in them. So 70 bucks for loose packs that are most likely searched. And this is just eBay. This is just eBay. We're just barely scratching the surface by looking at eBay. Okay. Right here, $90. Somebody's purchased and pre-ordered. Um, let's see, the set comes out December 2nd. So over a month before the set comes out, somebody's purchased and pre-ordered a... <laughs> V-Star Mewtwo for $90, $90. Now here we get into the booster boxes where things start to get a little, a little crazy, okay? Booster box sold listings, $108 from France, $120 plus $8 shipping from Japan, $120 plus $28 shipping from Japan, $28. So we're looking at 120, 100 and that person spent almost 150 bucks. Granted, they get a promo pack with it, $150. And then we got some more singles over here, $118 for a Mewtwo, $686 for nine Mewtwo's. How, answer me this, how does that seller know they're gonna pull nine Mewtwo's? What happens if you spend $686 to pre-order nine Mewtwo V-Stars, or if you spend $120 to pre-order something from an eBay seller when nobody has confirmation on what product they have, nobody has any idea of if they got the product or not, and you're pre-ordering a month ahead of time. Again, MSRP around 50 bucks. What happens when you do that? Well, this is just speculation, right? But best case scenario, you get the product. Worst case scenario, they're not able to get the product or there's more hype and FOMO when the product releases, they cancel your order, refund your money and relist it. So there's your worst case and there's your best case. And the best case scenario, you've paid over almost three times what MSRP is for the product, right? So that's why we, we have to see these things and understand you gotta, gotta be calm, gotta be patient, okay? And what's the evidence of why we should be patient? Okay, V-Star Universe, High class set, just like VMAX Climax, just like Shiny Star V. What happened with both Shiny Star V and both VMAX Climax? 
they both had booster boxes that were going for around like 120 150 dollars and they both saw restocks vmax climax even more than shiny star v i bought vmax climax for 55 dollars a box on like the second or third restock i'm not exactly sure what it is now but i'm just saying it was printed abundantly there was a lot of it and if you were patient and you watched and you paid attention you would have been able to get it at the right time for a very very affordable price now we got to think pokemon is a company that wants to make money they've seen the success of vmax climax they saw the success of shiny star v here comes v star universe you really think they're going to short print something that everybody's going to want ah no this is going to be a very popular set and pokemon knows that and it's going to be printed and it's probably going to be restocked and it's probably going to be relatively plentiful to get your hands on we have to educate ourselves as collectors and understand what's going on with previous sets what we should expect and anticipate the that pokemon company will do with the set that we're wanting and make educated assumptions based on that and if you do that 99 percent of the time and maybe not 90 percent of the time you're gonna make an accurate prediction so be careful with your pre-orders guys when, when you when you buy these things so say somebody buys these from japan for 50 dollars we should i don't know a fair price because we can't get it over here like it has to be imported over here the person that's buying it has to pay import fees they have to pay this that and the other they have to make a little bit of profit themselves I don't, I don't know, 65 bucks is probably an incredibly fair price. $65, $70, this is just off the top of my head. It, it, some prices that probably are okay, but going and spending 120 bucks a month beforehand, pre-orders haven't even got out. When pre-orders on the Pokemon Center are probably gonna be like lottery style pre-orders, it's a little extreme. And I, I wish more people that made videos about Pokemon and were educating people about this new set's coming out and is exciting, would make these types of videos and say, hey, yes, this is exciting, but here's the history that we need to look at. And here's what you should use to educate yourself to make sure you know probably that this set will probably be you know, abundant. There will probably be a bunch of restocks on it. I wish more creators did that. And a, a lot of creators don't. I'm not saying they're bad. I, I, I get it. You want to make a video to be exciting and, and get a lot of views and, and, you know, grow your YouTube channel as a full-time creator. I totally get it. So I'm not saying those other creators are bad. Uh, I'm just saying I wish more people would make videos like this. And you're probably saying, and I get these comments all the time, well, where can I buy these Japanese booster boxes? How do I get my hands on them at a, at a fair price? Uh, if you watch the YouTuber, um, okay, J Love, and I I don't agree with everything that he says, but there's no denying that, that the man loves Japanese Pokemon cards and that the man has a great wealth of knowledge about Japanese Pokemon cards and how to get Japanese Pokemon cards and he cares about his viewers. So while there are some things that he says in videos that I don't agree with, his knowledge and his love of Japanese Pokemon cards and his desire to help the community that follows him uh, is, is, is admirable and is something that I greatly respect. So if you go and check this video out that I'm going to flash right here, okay, J Love actually made this video uh, earlier today or yesterday or something telling people, hey, here's how you can find Japanese Pokemon cards at fair prices. He goes through this video and gives a whole resource list of places and websites that you can use. So if you really want to learn that, go check out OK J Love's video. Tell him in the comments that Dr. Applesauce sent you. Hopefully that'll put some, some resources in your arsenal so it'll help you learn how to be able to find Japanese product reliably and affordably. And there's no sense in me trying to reiterate all that. He did a great job in his video. Might as well point you to another creator that loves his audience just like I do uh, and, and wants to help them just like I do. So I want to know what you think. Drop me a comment down below, my friends. Are you stoked for V-Star Universe? And how are you going to plan on getting your hands on some? Also, if you're a huge Pokemon fan, check that video out right there. I know you'll love it. And like I always say, my friends, find somebody to love and serve today and be the change you want to see in the world. We'll see you next time.